Hello, this is my second uh, version of a quiet device to protect from viruses with positive pres pressure filtered air. This is, um, you can make this for about $25 if you make the helmet, um, the hood, which is about $50 cheaper than my initial design. So what makes this design cheaper is I got rid of the hose. The hose itself is about $10, but the hose also restricts a lot of air. So right now this is blowing about 2.5 liters per second. To get the same airflow through this hose, which is 22 millimeters wide, it's the uh, most common hose that you can find that's made without carcinogens because it's for people with sleep apnea and it's actually meant to um, deliver breathing air. So with that hose, I need about two watts to deliver the amount of air that I'm delivering right now without the hose. And this fan is running off just six, or sorry, six tenths of a watt, so about half a watt, which means this little battery will run it for about 30 hours for my first design. I needed a battery like this, which is about $25 if you buy it. And then also it needed to run at more than five volts. So I needed another device, probably can't see through here that well. There's a voltage regulator in here which ups the voltage to the point where it's running at about two watts and I can get the airflow that I need. And so that adds about another uh, $10 if you get 10 pieces or $6 if you just get one of them, but still adds to the cost. So and this one's also a little bit simpler and there's one less connection. So if I had filter, fan, hose, mask, that's an extra set of connections. So I'm also reducing the level of connections which makes for a more reliable device. So this little battery will run this for 30 hours just like if I was using the other one with a hose. Also, this is a bit easier to carry around and it's quieter. So I definitely recommend this hoseless design. So pretty much all you need is you need a fan. Um, I use a filter from a Roomba and you need a small power supply. Often you can get these from, um, sometimes if there's a college open house, they'll give away um, small USB fans. This one's supposed to be 18.5 watt hours. I'm not sure if one of the ones that you'd find, but you could, even like a very small one would probably give you, um, could get, easily give you eight hours, but you'd want to test it to make sure. And a fan like this, they, you can often find them on computer graphics cards, the higher performance one, but if it's like 10 years old, someone might be getting rid of it and you could get a fan like this from that. So you could make something like this um, with a bit of scrounging and actually make it without paying any money. I'm working on a mask. You can use a bag and two liter bottle. Just cut the bottle open um, and then figure out a way to attach it to the bag easier said than done but a big advantage to this and literally big is because you have if you're using a whole bag you could have like a area like maybe elastic strap that you could release and let air into a, the wider part of the bag and you could actually eat inside of the filtered air environment so this fan you can get for about nine dollars the filters are about a dollar thirty each they're advertised as HEPA replacements for Roomba though um, we need much better consumer protections to guarantee something like that 
Uh, if someone that could actually test one of those filters, that would be great, then could know exactly how to do it. Um, eventually, I might actually get around to setting up a test for that, but no immediate plans of doing that. In any case, you can get a set of six of these filters for $7. If you share them, then it's um, $1.30 each. I recommend removing them from the original housing and then mounting them so that there's um, a layer of glue all the way around the outside. And this is to make sure that the only way for air to um, come in from the outside to the inside is if it goes through the filter. So that's $7 and this fan is about nine. So that's 16 and then you can get one of these for about 10. So for about $25, you can make this set up. If you buy the hood as well, then it's close to 50. This is a $23 hood. Um, again, use the hoseless design, you save a lot of money. This is blowing out about 2.5 liters per second. If I breathe in fully and out, that takes me about two seconds and that's half a liter of air. So in the same two seconds, this blows in five liters of air, which is like 10 breaths, 10 breaths every two seconds. So it's blowing in air at least 10 times faster than I would breathe if I was hyperventilating. And that's what makes these, this positive pressure type of apparatus um, safer. So whatever, your filter is only as good as how much you guarantee that you're only breathing in filtered air. So with a normal mask, a lot of air comes in through the side. Having this positive pressure ensures that all of the air is filtering. So if this is actually HEPA, then HEPA, there's like two standards, 99.97 um, and 99.95. Let's say it's at 99.95. What you want to look at is how much air is getting through. So if I compare that to N99, you have 0 0.05 comparing to 1%. Now, both of those are small numbers, but if you put it in context, they divide 1% by 0 0.05, and I find out that um, a HEPA filter is going to filter at least 20 times as many particles. If it's the 99.97, standard 30 times as many particles as N99. Um, sadly, of course, I can't guarantee that this is HEPA, so, um, but in any case, it's, I've used these in my vacuum for a long time, and they're at least very good at keeping dust um, from getting into the clean air side of the vacuum cleaner, so I'm confident that these would be at least N95, but you'd have to test them to be sure. But I don't have to worry about any leakage. So this is going to be much better than any mask around your face, because most of what's, um, no matter how good the filter is of the mask around your face, you'll be pulling in at least um, one tenth of the air, especially if you um, have some anything that's going to create prevent a tight seal, like I have some stubble here. Um, then, especially if you wear a beard, you want to wear something like this. So I hope this video helps you and you do this project. As I said, if you make the hood yourself, it's $25. If you buy the hood, then it's going to be about $50. If you actually make the hood, find a fan like this, say from a um, out-of-date computer graphics card and scrounge for any USB power source, um, then you could actually make this without any money, just time and effort. Hope this helps. Be safe. The best way to keep anyone else from getting sick is not to get sick yourself in the first place. If you don't have the virus, you won't spread the virus. Be safe and save lives. Thank you.